Today, I've had about 50 procedures. I love the idea that you're able to enhance your body in this day and age. So, my most recent, I did bicep implants. These cost 8,000, 8,500 bucks. Pec implants cost another $8,000. I did cheeks, and I've done my jaw and chin multiple times. That cost probably upwards of 13,000. Cheekbones were filler. Did my butt, that cost about 5,000. Numerous Botox and Discord treatments. Up to date, uh, I'm looking at about $75,000. I don't want a body shame, but 75 grand on surgery and you still don't even look like you lift. Bicep implants, pec implants, and you're still really skinny. There's so many questions to be answered. First thing that comes to my mind, other than why don't you just go to the gym, is where do you get the money from? If you're paying for it yourself, then okay, no problem. Because if it's your parents paying for it all, which I assume it is, because how are you going to be paying for your own surgeries between the ages of 15 and 20? That's bad parenting in my eyes. My parents are great. My mom was always there for me. He says he's got a good relationship with his parents, but fails to mention his dad. And that's something I think when I see a lad like this, daddy issues, where's his dad laying down the discipline in this situation? As a kid, I wasn't as confident as I am today. I was pretty picked on for, you know, being gay or for, you know, being smaller than everyone else. I didn't know exactly what I wanted until I was older and I saw on TV all these people getting all these procedures done and I saw how confident and glamorous their life looked. If that was my son, gay or not, I'd be like, listen, you're getting bullied, what, for being too small? Okay, lad, time to get your ass to the gym and do a few kickboxing and MMA lessons. I'm coming with you, let's go. And then when he's walking around the house at any random point, I'll attack him and make sure that he's on his game. That is what a dad should do, not encourage him to go and get some surgery. We will be going to see my hair transplant doctor. He will be drawing a new hairline for me. Frankly, I hope the hairline is probably like down here a little bit, but realistically, it's gonna be a little bit, probably about right here. As he's getting hair loss surgery and he's 21 years old. The youth these days has got no clue and the parents are facilitating it. The mum even says, She always let me make my decisions. She never made them for me. Yeah, and that's the problem. It should be your parents making decisions for you. You're not an adult yet. Well, you are now, but the majority of the surgeries you've had before you was even 20 years old. In the space of five years, you've had 51 surgeries. That's 10 surgeries a year, almost a surgery a month. This lad needs to get a few protein bars down him and get his ass to the gym. I'm telling you, I wouldn't have it if it was my I look in the mirror, um, you know, I I see someone who put a great deal of time and energy in their body. Um, obviously, I'm not fully done yet. I think one of the most ridiculous things you can do is get these body muscle implants. They look terrible because they always stay the same shape. It's like having a flexed bicep when your arm is straight. And the pec implants just look like boobs because there's no upper pec. It's just like titties down here. Why, why are you getting Botox? at 15 years old, I would hear my mom's dermatologist say, you need to start it young, because if you start it young, you're breaking down the muscle. And once that muscle breaks down, you won't create wrinkles in that area. I've heard this before, and I don't know how true this is, and I really don't care enough about this subject to Google it right now. But I just think that sounds like a ploy to get you to get on it sooner, so then you buy more of it, so you are a customer for longer. It's a money thing. Absolutely ridiculous. He looks terrible. And yeah, I am body shaming you, and I do hope you watch this. And if there's a message for you to take away from this, young man, is get your ass to the gym, because those muscles have got no functionality whatsoever. And if someone grabs you when you're out, what's that bicep implant going to do? It's going to do nothing, because you're still weak as piss. You need to actually increase your strength. You've got no martial arts skills, no self-defense skills. Probably couldn't fight your way out of a wet paper bag. What do you guys think of this? Comment down below. Do you think I should just stay out of the lad's business and leave him alone? And if it makes him happy, then that's okay. Or do you think this is a part of a bigger societal problem that we have going on currently where everyone is just trying to look perfect? Make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and check out some more of me videos here. We upload every single day on this channel. I'll see you all tomorrow.